Hey guys, from here, from Bucharest, Romania. This is a new vlog episode of our art life. And if you like what you see in uh, this episode, please uh, give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't. And uh, hit that notification bell because it'll let you know when we have new content. So let's show you what we've been through on this side of the world. Yay! Hi, I'm John. And this is Bogdan. Join us on our journey as we figure out how to earn a living as artists, introduce you to those we meet, and share what we learn along the way. We are on the way to Bucharest. We just passed Bucharest. Here is Paul, my cousin. Say something. Hello. And uh, it's super hot right now. Uh, his car does not have a uh, air conditioner because it's too old and he's afraid it's gonna burn the engine. So, uh, another journey in Romania. Hey! It's been a long journey. Poor Paul had to drive all the way to get us and then all the way back and we may keep making him stop. It's a great time. Uh, we are so thankful. It's great, it's beautiful here. Beautiful weather and uh, many adventures to come. And here we are at the countryside. Let's go say hello to everybody. What do you Pedro. Do you film? Do you film? <laughs> Salut! Salut! Bine ați venit! Ce faci? Uite că e de parte când purum! Purum, prin să venim! Ce faci, bre? Mă mai ții minte? <laughs> Mama, ai zis vite, bre? Ha, ah, sus! So, um, a part of the deal while we uh, visited the countryside is to look at this property uh, near my uh, relatives. Well, that's one property, right? Yeah. And then, uh, I think it's lovely, but I think it's too small for your needs. It may be too, a little too expensive, as far as we heard, but uh, yeah. Yeah, it's something to consider. There are also probably other places in, in the village, but uh, I like the proximity to Bucharest. It's close by and yet you don't have the hassle of living in the city we could we could have some privacy and some quiet and uh, hey how did you find Platarest? i like that that's what i was just saying yeah that, i think it's a beautiful place it's quiet it's a place where you could really work ah, 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 Și ardei copt.
a day. What a day. So we went to Plătărești, uh, where my relatives live. We got to connect with everybody and uh, we took a brief look to that property we are interested in. <laughs> Um, well, it turns out that some other relatives of ours said that, uh, oh, there's some other properties around, but you know, they're not listed, so you're gonna have to do the asking game. So basically, we've, we've put all the aunties on this, and they are gonna, they are gonna take care of this for us. So it was great, we spent time with Bogdan's family today, uh, spent all day with them today, in fact. So I got to connect with those folks and now we are in Bucharest at one of my favorite restaurants. This was a restaurant we came to back in it's 2002. It's a Lebanese, Lebanese uh, themed restaurant and it's fantastic. And we love it. Yeah, I've been here many times. But a Monday night, it's not terribly crowded. Don't let the don't let the empty restaurant fool you. We'll explore more tomorrow. We'll have other parties tomorrow with some friends of mine here in Bucharest. Then we have some other relatives that um, are owning a uh, winery here in town. Mm -hmm and they asked me to meet and maybe can do a video or some photography, we'll see where that goes, but um, I think it's gonna be exciting. Yeah, delighted to be here and for the next, uh, the next bit of our adventure, can't wait. Wow. New day in Bucharest, it's morning, we have some appointments around, but uh, one of the things we realized is the money and uh, my new Romanian ID does not fit in the American wallet, so now we are, we have to buy, we have to show for, for a European wallet that is a little larger. These are, these are first world problems. Yes, so let's do that. Okay, so we had lunch at, at the Nepalas Hilton today. We needed something good and quick, and uh, we are uh, exploring Bucharest. First, we're going to stop at the printing shop. And here we are. We reach the place. What Where's a, the place? What a journey, this is it. Oh, this I, is I, it. I've seen the, the papers on the window, stacked. Are you tired? I'm a little bit tired, yeah. It's pretty hot. What did you do today? We've been pounding the pavement. We've been going, gosh, what all have we done today? We did, uh, we tried to go to a gallery. We had lunch. We had a, I had a big massage. Uh, and we are about to? We're about to go and look at an art supply store, probably one of the biggest, we think. Uh, to get an idea of what things cost, uh, we saw an art exhibition in a hotel and uh, were a bit surprised at how inexpensive the, uh, the artworks were. Well, in wandering the streets of Bucharest, we happened upon one of the largest galleries in town, Galateca. And there happened to be an opening reception for an artist named Mik Rasvandan, and we got to interview the artist. What a treat.
now moved with her son Max and his girlfriend Maria uh, to a north of the city to a lake called Snagra. In the middle of the lake, there's an island with a monastery, and in that monastery, they keep the head of the real Dracula, Vlad Sebor. So that's really fascinating history and a little creepy, but uh, it's a beautiful lake, and it was delightful to see them again. My God, I don't think I've seen Max since he was 15 years old. So it was lovely to spend some time visiting with them. Uh, we also ended the evening with a photo shoot with Brianna. Uh, she has a nonprofit organization. They're helping Ukrainian refugees as well as she has a uh, rescue for cats. So uh, we did a shoot with her and it was delightful to see them. And then, of course, the next morning, we did another photo shoot with Bogdan's cousins. They have two adorable little boys who we tried to wrangle into a photo session. And then at 1 o'clock in the morning, we had a Zoom meeting in Argentina. Bogdan has been chosen again for the third year in a row uh, as a guest artist at the Festival de um, the Fotografia Artística in Tucumán, Argentina, and gave a presentation, an hour-long presentation, to a group of uh, interested people in his presentation uh, of art there in Tucumán. It was a virtual exhibition, but uh, next year we're hoping to go in person. But that was a lovely visit and uh, quite a challenge to speak Spanish well at 1 o'clock in the morning. Now we didn't just look at properties in Platerest, out in the country next to Bucharest. We also looked at properties in Kumpolun, which is a lovely city where Bogdan's uh, parents live and his brother lives. And it's kind of in the foothills of the Carpathians. It's just a beautiful, beautiful old town and much larger than Platerest. But it's about two and a half hours from Bucharest beautiful architecture, some lovely cottages and, and homes with gardens, um, quite inexpensive, uh, but we're still kind of just shopping around, seeing what's available, seeing what we can afford. Uh, I think it would be a dream place to live and work. Hi, y'all. We are in the middle of Bucharest somewhere. Uh, just uh, expedite a package to Houston. Uh, we'll see how fast it's gonna make it. It's great. The, the Romanian post office was this old communist style building. It was just like incredible, like out of a movie. I wish I would have filmed inside, but I was no, so- No, there was a sign that I, said you couldn't. And I was so stressed to pull the camera anyway. But we, we've done that and see how fast are they and safe are they going to uh, be. What Bogdan has done is he's, he's taken some photography here and he had it printed here at what, half the price? Yeah, well, less than half. Ha less than half of what it would have cost. And then we were trying to think of how we were going to transport it home. But uh, supposedly we're able to mail it back to the United States for about $40, which is nothing. Uh, we'll see if we get hit with any taxes when it gets back. It's been it's been an experiment all day. Yeah. So um, what else have we done? We actually uh, have a bank account for the business. Yes, it's official. And, and that it wasn't hard. It completely exhausted me. Yes. We're, we're officially set up as a business. We have an account. 
uh, a bank account. We can charge people now. We're completely officially open. Uh, all we have to do now is uh, uh, complete the uh, services of a an accountant. Uh, but we're ready to go. It's official. We're, we're Romanian businessmen. And uh, what else have we done? We actually met with an uh, artist last night. Yes. Uh, and bought a painting for him and uh, to show us uh, our support for a local artist. Um, Tete is his name and he does uh, all kinds of things, sculptures and uh, abstracts and uh, I think it's of course very uh, a lovely conversation. We talk about art, we talk about how it is to be an artist in Romania. We're going to show, share some of that interview with them. And the fairs, the fairs are really the way people buy in the States. Anyway. Yeah. Because Not they, even here. They, they uh, came to, they come to look. And yeah. They, they don't buy. But I mean, we have studios uh, where we are. There are 60 artists in one place. And then there are six buildings. So there's almost 400 artists in about four blocks. And uh, so there's a lot of competition. Yeah. Yeah. But at the same time, it's a destination, so people come there to look for art. Yeah. Um, so a lot of people just come to look. The and same uh, thing. was I telling you in another point of view uh, mm -hmm. about crisis uh, in uh, 2008? Yes. Mm -hmm. That uh, this moment uh, was demonstrated that uh, investment in art it's not uh, so easy to. Uh, recover to mm -hmm. to transform in liquid mm -hmm. in liquidity, and yet the the market has bounced back. It's come back yeah. strong, yeah, uh, yeah. stronger yeah. than before. Yeah. I was amazed yeah. that the uh, many people sold more during the pandemic yeah. than yeah. before. Me too. Me too. Me too. Uh, not us, but because we depended on people coming to the studio. Yeah, and it was closed. Um, but uh, yes, you know, I understand. If you have a if you have a, a base of, of loyal collectors, uh, they people made well, and people yeah. who sold online did well. Um, but uh, yeah, I thought that was fascinating. And now the the they say the art fairs are full again. Yes. Uh, so that's that's promising as well. Yeah. In, an, in another way, in, an, in a way or another, it, it's a way of investment. Mm -hmm. Because I believe in next 10 years, 20 years, uh, the art that we can see now mm -hmm. is not going to be so, so everywhere. Because mm -hmm. the eye, uh, intelligence, uh, um, I. You mean the, the creativity? Artificial ah, intelligence. The, yeah, yeah. Artificial intelligence, uh, it's the finish. They it's will the do it better. That is the death of, mm -hmm. of uh, everything. Decline. Because there are uh, too many, it's inflation. Mm -hmm. too, too many artists yeah. Uh, yeah. who are going to get in that way using the technology. technology. And the, the traditional art, it's going to be more appreciate it. I think so. I hope. Primarily in the school I was uh, figure, uh, figurative. Figurative. Uh, figurative. Figurative. Classical yeah, kind yeah. of. Mm -hmm. But I'm sick of figurative. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh -huh. And I was sick since the school. Since mm -hmm. in the school I, I, I tried to, to... Because in, in that uh, moment, in these times, figurative is uh, resolved by, by photo. Yes. By yes. video. Mm -hmm. by, so we have all the the, the direction to to evaluate. Mm -hmm. Instead, uh, non-figurative. It's uh, abstract. It's it's another world. It's oh. possible another yeah. world. Mm -hmm. And give you a freedom to dream, to interpret, to to have your own story about that. Uh, that painting, mm -hmm. for example. And, and yours could be different from mine. Yes. And, 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 and that's good. This is the miracle. Mm -hmm. This is the miracle. This and with figurative, you, yeah. it's, it's Figurative, there, it's, it's what it, uh, you, you get what you see. Mm -hmm. And all of that. Now, you also do restoration. I imagine that kind of training you need for your restoration work. 
that figurative work in the classical yes, train? Yes. Do you think that's, but, but that's the kind of work you're the restoring? At the first, I'm uh, old book, mm -hmm. uh, Restore and Pergamon, and uh, after that I, I, I learned to about painting. Mm -hmm. But yes, figurative, it's very useful for, for yeah. uh, restoring. Mm -hmm. How long have you been, been paint, a painter? Since teenager. How is to be an artist here? Hard, very hard. Yes. I mean, more so than other places. I mean, it's hard for everybody. But yeah, hard for everybody, it's but, but harder if, here. If, uh, if you make a, 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 a compar comparative with USA or mm -hmm. West Europe, where the people are more uh, educated, more it, it's another another point of view about art mm -hmm. there. Here in Romania, it's very difficult. Mm -hmm. because, because the majority fight for surviving. Mm -hmm. And uh, is there high a camaraderie? Class, please. Is there a camaraderie? Is there a, a, a relationship between artists? Or do no, 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 no. Stand no. off. It, uh, I, I give you an uh, honest an mm -hmm. answer. No. Yeah. Camera, no friendship, no camaraderie. Only. Um, They're competition. Hypocrisy. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, yeah. No, no, no. I'll be done. Okay. We are like gladiators. Yeah, no. yeah. And uh, many of them, they, they stole the ideas, mm -hmm, and, uh, mm -hmm. and it's yes. It's, it, I think everywhere it's, it's the same. All how the do you how do you make it? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But you it's, said you said you it's have a miracle. A, you have a base of collectors. Yeah, those friends, folks, friends. They will follow you your entire career. Yeah. Yeah. Let, let's say I have uh, 20 friends mm -hmm. or more. Not not too much. Mm -hmm. uh, part of them was not friends, but we became friends. Sure. We became mm -hmm. friends. They, they helped me to survive. Yes. That is very important. That's why we became friends because mm -hmm. I, I'm very uh, um, humble. For every painting I saw, mm -hmm. I sell. Very humble. It's it's a moment of grace when somebody came and give you the, the chance to survive buying your your work. Mm -hmm. And after that, could be an investment, but I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know the answer. When? Mm -hmm. How? To how much? Time. Time will. T time will tell. Speak. Yeah. But I. I, I constantly work against the system, against the, the market, against the authority of art. I don't give nothing, not even, I don't give nothing for that system. I don't believe it. Mm -hmm. Because there are people who give the exact power in art, in critic, and they are gods here. And I don't give nothing I, I don't believe in that if, if somebody wants to see your work for example you know they see this video or how do I find how do how do they find you how do I don't know on internet on Facebook or mm -hmm. on such or face to face so you work mainly in oil and abstract no or, no, no. or you do other type medium like paper and yeah I, I work in many but you also do some yeah. sculpture yes because in, in school I was very lucky to assist uh, the other class of jewelry, sculpture, graphics, and, and I, I was curious to to find to secret. try yeah to try various so that's why I I'm, I feel free to play with with all techniques and. And after that, I, I love to make uh, some popular instrument uh, named tunic. Mm -hmm. If you know, mm -hmm. in Apusen, they, they make that. Sometimes I, I burn my, my... Oh, do work. you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I get rid of nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. Maybe I should. Yeah. You know, we're used to uh, a community of artists that you walk in, you introduce yourself, and you're kind of welcomed and... and and people give you tips, and, and here he said there is no such thing. 
he called him he said they're gladiators <laughs> everyone's out for themselves well you know what and they don't there's it no is. community it, it, but you have to be a gladiator anywhere in this world because no, you, you have don't. to you have to fight a little i mean uh, Art is a business Gladiators as well. Gladiators fight a lot. <laughs> art is a business as well, so you're gonna have to. Of course it is. You're gonna have to fight a bit. There's no way that if you produce something, that I could produce exactly what you produce. Oh, there's then, really that... not the competition people believe there is. What, what I found really disturbing is uh, a lot of graffiti. I like graffiti, that it's organized yeah. graffiti and nice graffiti, but this is uh, vandalism and uh, Bucharest. I, uh, there was not one building, one yeah. building that survived uh, bad graffiti. Everything is painted, everything. And again, it just gives the whole city kind of a, a dingy look. I mean, there's a certain beauty on it. There's certain urban art and things like that, and I can find it quite attractive. But uh, you know, between that and the pigeons, it just looks kind of dirty. Oh, shall I mention the air conditioners? The air conditioners dripping. Oh yeah, you never know. You're walking down the sidewalk, and and something. I had something drip into my mouth last oh, yes. night, and I'm thinking it's either clean water from an air conditioner or some dog upstairs peed off the balcony or, or somebody it's soapy water that somebody's cleaning the the dog urine off their balcony oh God. i'm not sure which it was anyway but those are the little things little things and that's <laughs> urban life and that's true in lots of capitals but it happens to be true here too <laughs> all right in an effort to get an idea of what it's like to be an artist here in Bucharest and what the art market is like. We did stop by an important gallery here in town for uh, Anka Potarashu, and we did meet Anka and, and get to see her gallery. It was raining at the time and she was doing some construction, but it was lovely to get to meet her and, and connect with her. Uh, we also made a trip out to visit with uh, Yulia Paun, who is a local artist here, and we were able to go and visit her home and meet her, her husband Dan and her lovely cats, and spend some time with her discussing what life is like here and what the art business is like here and the opportunities. And it was a lovely visit, and we even got to purchase a piece of her art. Um, so we're really getting a sense of what it's like to live here and what it's like to work here. And uh, so far, I think we like everything that we've seen. So we are toward of this journey in Romania. Yes, we're 21 days in so far. And we've done everything we wanted to and a little more. And a little more, yeah. We Let's see, we opened the business, we started a bank account, we got an accountant, we have telephones, we have, we have uh, looked at properties around trying to get an idea of the real estate. And we've actually spoken to some artists and a gallerist. Yeah, yeah about what what the art life is like here and what it's like to, to be an artist in, in Romania. But I have to tell you that I feel more and more comfortable here. Yeah, yeah. You can you can have your own uh, I know it's it's rough at ages but it's uh, it's very easy. It's very easy to get around things. And and it's quite inexpensive. Uh, quite inexpensive. I do believe that you know once you get settled you could you could live quite cheaply here. And, and there's plenty of art supplies, there's plenty of, of you know, we could afford some room to work. It, it, I think it would be a good thing for us. And Amazon, it's coming here as well. Absolutely. So there's nothing to lose. You can get Diet Coke. And uh, what else? We have many other things that we're going to share with you in the next episode. Yes. And uh, there's be uh, business things going on there. And... Uh, so subscribe, like us, and follow us if you want to see what's next. Great. Have a great week, and we'll talk to you very soon. Bye, guys. Bye. Hey, let's go and do some, uh, get some uh, shopping done with presents for the 
Okay. People at home. Yeah, we got to do Let's that. Let's go.